In 2002, City Harvest Church received a mandate from God to reach the masses in the secular world through music. That year, CHC launched into Asia, making headlines in the world of MTV with Sun's crossover project. Firstly, it was necessary to extend the influence of Sun in specific countries or cities through the power of pop culture and pop music. The popularity of her music, as well as her status as a celebrity, drew the masses to her. At the same time, Pastor Kong preached in the local churches of these places, introducing them to the concept, purposes and requirements of the crossover project. These churches then organised concerts headlined by Sun, where she performed a high-octane set list featuring song, dance and multimedia presentations based on her secular pop albums. Towards the end of each concert, Sun shared her testimony about the crippling depression she once faced during her teenage years that resulted from being abused when she was a little girl. She told the audience that it was only through finding the love of Jesus Christ that gave her the strength and hope to recover from her deep emotional distress. Sun's heartfelt testimony touched many hearts to respond to Jesus. Sun performed all over Taiwan in cities like Taipei, Taichung, Kaohsiung, Taoyuan, Xinjou, Banqiao, Hualien. In Tainan, Sun had one of her larger concerts. Out of that, Rayma Harvest Church was birthed. At the little town of Jiayi, 3,225 people received Jesus as their saviour. There was a teenage girl studying the local university by the name of Christina who got saved. Today, Christina is a pastor of 400 members, many of whom are celebrities from the industries. 真的在此學習要山是你不斷的成為我的釋放跟盼望,當我得著了一位藝人,他們可能就會像當時的你一樣,站在台上分享,也會得著觸摸在台下其中就一名失上的年輕人的靈魂。Churches like New Life Church Taipei has grown from 409 members to 2,703 in eight years. In Hong Kong, one of the most notorious gangsters in the city, Teddy Hung, got saved. Ten years on, he is still on fire for the Lord. In East Malaysia, Sun set concert attendance records in the cities of Kuching and Cebu. Out of those events, CHC Kuching was born. In Kuala Lumpur, CHCKL grew from 50 members to more than 2,000 today. In Indonesia, everywhere Sun performed, people gave their hearts to Jesus Christ. In Surabaya, even the soldiers who came to protect the team gave their hearts to Jesus. On two occasions, Sun performed at the Singapore Indoor Stadium for 29,000 concert goers. One Singaporean who was transformed by the crossover project is this girl. When Sun began to share her testimony about how she struggled with depression and how God delivered her from depression, I told myself that God can do the same for me too. Out of the crossover project, a famous local dancer by the name of Ryan Tan was saved. He became the co-founder of O School, which has 11,000 in its membership today. O School has become an effective channel to reach out to youths at risk. For two years, Sun was constantly on the road with new Chinese albums and performing in more than 100 concerts. 25 months after she launched the crossover project, she had performed live to over half a million people. Close to 140,000 have given their hearts to Jesus Christ. In five years, Sun released a total of five Chinese albums. Sun was never ashamed to acknowledge her faith in Jesus Christ. Through the crossover, we came into very close contact with many influential people in the entertainment industry. Many of them are shining brightly for the Lord. Many pop stars are coming to Christ today and they are doing their own versions of the crossover.
The celebrities in New Life Church Taipei have themselves touched half a million lives in the last five years. Sun's music brought about a new dimension of faith, hope and love to the world. But more than just being an entertainer, Sun desired to bring the tangible love of God to the poor and needy through practical means. Beyond her pop ministry, Sun also committed herself to numerous humanitarian efforts. Not only did she donate portions of her album royalties to charitable causes, she also initiated various social work efforts. These include the construction or betterment of schools in cities and provinces such as Chongqing, Guizhou, Shanghai, Henan, and Yunnan, and the provision of scholarships in Guizhou. These efforts helped cater to the educational needs of the poor, the young, and the needy in these localities. In 2007, Sun also contributed to the musical development of students in Tianjin as well as the construction of a music room in Liaoning to help foster creativity among the youths. In recognition of Sun's humanitarian efforts, she was awarded the title of Ambassador of Love for the Children and Youth Foundation of China and also given the privilege of being featured in an official First Day cover stamp series. For her success in the world of music, San was named the Seoul Music Ambassador for the 2008 Beijing Olympics. She's also the main female vocalist to sing the theme song for the 2007 Special Olympics. After the 2008 Sichuan earthquake, Sun personally visited the survivors, showing them love and moral support. She also contributed to the disaster relief work, providing practical aid such as shelters and tents, as well as helping to rebuild the schools and homes of the survivors. In the aftermath of the 2010 Haiti earthquake that shook the world, Sun and the medical teams were among the first to set up a medical clinic in Carfu to provide medical relief to thousands of injured Haitians. These teams also brought in water purification systems to provide clean drinking water for the Haitians. In Indonesia, San has built one medical center, one rehabilitation center and one children's center. San has also set up one computer school and one orphanage in Kolar Goldfield, India. In Sri Lanka, San has helped build two orphanages and plans are in the pipeline for the construction of a new medical centre in Daphna. Talent scouted by an American music executive, San has since recorded five English singles, all of which topped the American Billboard charts and the UK Music Week charts. In America, she has worked with the likes of David Foster, Diane Warren, Carol Bayer Sager, Olivia Newton-John and Wyclef John. The first single, Fancy Free, from her debut album for the US, has already achieved number one on both the American Billboard Dance Club Play Chart and the UK Music Week Commercial Club Pop Chart. In support of the US leg of the crossover project, Pastor Kong had already begun sharing the concept and success stories from Asia to the churches in the West since April 2007. My wife's son is engaging pop culture of our generation and through it bring the love of Jesus Christ to literally millions of people all throughout Asia. I want to show you a little clip of what she's doing so you get an understanding on how you can use pop culture as an avenue to bring down the Kingdom of God. Then to replicate Asia's crossover success, these churches could organize pop concerts upon the launch of San's US debut album, during which she could share her testimony and have people respond. They would then be spiritually ministered to by the local churches that Pastor Kong had shared the crossover vision with. Lionsgate Leadership and Missions Institute, a City Harvest affiliated Bible school based in Sacramento, California, was started in 2010 to teach the cultural mandate. 
Also, just like she did in Asia, Sun began to use her celebrity status to do humanitarian work in Central American countries like Haiti and Honduras. In Honduras, Sun set up the Sun Life Foundation in aid of children suffering from hydrocephalus and other neurological issues. To date, more than 319 shunts have been donated through this foundation, translating to 319 children being saved from possible death due to their condition. It is undeniable that because of the crossover project, CHC has been able to save more souls, plant more churches and embark on humanitarian efforts that would normally be beyond its reach as a typical local church. The Crossover Project is not about Sun and a singing career. The Crossover Project is the church's collective goal to reach the unreached and serve a broken down world. We have become more relevant to our generation. Our members are inspired to engage the world as salt and light. The Crossover Project is not about bringing Christian songs into a secular world. It is about bringing Christ, hope and love out of the church and into culture to make a difference in countless lives. She is incredible, an amazing artist, and there's just so many fantastical things on his way. Sun help, look out. Surely Sun is shining as a bright beacon of light in our world today through the Crossover Missions Project. She's taking the message of the gospel beyond the four walls of the church and effectively sharing the love of God through her songs and practical social contributions.